Let's take a look at a pattern called the pentatonic scale pattern. The pentatonic scale has five notes in it, and on the guitar that means there will be five different patterns, each starting on a different note of the scale. We're going to use the pattern that everyone learns first, and because of that, we call it pattern number one. We start on the sixth string, we move across to the first string, playing one note at a time. So the first notes that we'll play is your first finger in the fifth fret on the sixth string, and then your fourth finger in the eighth fret. Then on the fifth string, move over and play your first finger on the fifth fret and your third finger on the seventh fret. You move to the fourth string with the same pattern, first finger and third finger. Third string, exactly the same. First finger in the fifth fret, third finger in the seventh fret. Then on the second and the first strings, you do exactly what you did on the sixth string. First finger in the fifth fret, fourth finger on the eighth fret. Now I'm gonna take a deep breath and go really slowly from string six to one, playing that fingering without stopping. Now when you go to try it, you might think that's slow. I had a teacher who used to say, you take whatever you think is slow and you cut it in half and then you cut it in half again. That's fine. Go really slowly so that your fingers feel comfortable. And you're going to come backwards. This is a chance for you to work on your picking hand with your pick. It's a chance for you to work on your fretting hand, whichever hand that is for you. Going back and forth, memorizing this pattern, memorizing what fingers you're using, using the same fingers every time. One, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. Memorize that fingering across. Go back and forth until you memorize it. Once you feel comfortable playing it in order, what we're gonna do is start to improvise with it. And so in order to do that, at first it's just a physical thing. What we're gonna do is pick two strings. I like the ones right in the middle, the fourth string and the third string. So each of those, you're only playing frets five and seven with fingers one and three. So get comfortable there. <laughs> This idea of taking a solo or improvising, it can get kind of scary when people think about it. They feel on the spot, they think, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Really all you're gonna do is mix up the order of the notes, how loud or soft you play them, the length of them. Just start to group them. So I'm just going to take those four notes, play them out of order. playing little groups of notes and then I'm gonna stop and then I'm gonna play another one like we're having a little conversation like I'm having a little conversation with each of these little groups or notes you could play one note you can have fun with it you can play one really 
fast and hard and one really soft and just have start to have fun go back and forth and then you might say okay I'd like to play some things that sound a little lower so after I play some ideas in the middle I'm going to add another string maybe the fifth string which also uses frets five and seven with fingers one and three so I might go think I want to go up higher so I'm going to jump up to the second string where I'm playing on frets five and eight with fingers one and four is you're improvising you're taking a solo that's all there is to it is you're just starting to play things that sound cool you're mixing things up the more you balance surprise with expectation the more we're interested to hear what you have to say if you play something and then you go back to it we're like oh that's so cool like look she did this then i do something else I might go back to it. And then do something different. So you'll practice this. When you want to start playing with other people, there's one more thing I want you to think about and practice before we take that step. And that is that this pattern can be called different things and played in different places. So if we want to call it a minor pentatonic scale, all you have to know about that right now is remember the term minor pentatonic scale and remember that your first finger is going to tell us what scale you're playing based on the bass note that you're playing on the sixth string. So when I play this pattern that we've just been playing where I've set it up on the fifth fret, if I want you to think of it as A minor pentatonic, I make sure my first finger is on the fifth fret starting on an A. make you feel like we're going home to A every time, home to A, and then you're going to hear a minor pentatonic scale. I can move that. If you say, no, let's not play an A minor pentatonic. Can you play a B minor pentatonic scale? I'll say, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to find a B, which is on the seventh fret, remember, and I'm going to play that exact pattern. So that means that I have to keep the same spacing of my fingers and play the same fingering. <laughs> you say, hey, what about a D minor pentatonic scale? Same thing. Put my first finger on D, play the pattern. Everything I did when I played around in A minor pentatonic will still work in D minor pentatonic. You don't worry about little mistakes and little misses. It all sounds great when you're playing with other people. You just want to get used to how the frets feel there. If you want to play in a major key, if someone says, oh, this key is a, it's a C major, you don't have to know what that means yet. We're going to get to that. You're going to play your same pattern, but it's your little finger that sets it up. So if your little finger is on C and you reach back to play the pattern, you'll notice it's the same exact pattern as A minor pentatonic, but this time I'm going to start on my fourth finger. So I played exactly the same notes, but this one, that note, that's going to be my new home. And that 
will make it sound like a major scale when you play with other people. If I wanted D major pentatonic, I put my little finger on a D and I reach back. And when you do that, you'll say, hey, that's the same pattern as B minor pentatonic, and that's right. But this time you're gonna start on your fourth finger. Getting comfortable with moving this one pattern around and being able to feel good about calling it different things, different major scales, different minor scales, that's going to help you when you get to the next step and you want to use this to play a song with a friend. Thank you.